At ISSCC 2009, we are presenting a cascaded constructive wave amplifier, which is a particularly exciting way to provide signal amplification at 100 gigahertz or at millimeter wave frequencies. First, it's cascaded so that as we take more and more stages and we cascade them one after the other, we get very, very high gain. Second, it allows traveling waves to propagate through this transmission line through all of those stages. And traveling waves, as they propagate through here, are relatively high bandwidth because any frequency of wave can travel through this path. Today, a Wi-Fi or a WiMAX system is operating at around 2.5 gigahertz, which is what we call RF. And these RF systems are really only capable of handling megabits of information per second. So for instance, a Wi-Fi um, router like you have in your home can at best do maybe 50 megabits per second of, of uh, data communication. In the future, you're going to want a lot more data rate, maybe to your home to watch a high def movie or for a gaming application. And so we need to find ways to transmit more information than is available at 2.5 gigahertz. One way we can do this is to use 100 gigahertz or millimeter wave frequency bands to get higher amounts of bandwidth and then we can transmit much faster data rates. For instance, at 100 gigahertz we may be able to trans, uh, transmit information as fast as 10 gigabits per second. And so we're really looking to millimeter wave circuits as a potential way to get, for instance, a high bandwidth connection between your uh, service provider and your home uh, when, you, when you want very, very high capacity links. This amplifier can play a role in that future by providing the ability to amplify signals at 100 gigahertz that would then propagate from, for instance, your service provider to your home. And so we can use this amplifier both to boost the signal strength of a 100 gigahertz signal that's leaving the service provider, and then use this amplifier to then boost the signal's amplitude in the receiver in your home. The transmission line, schematically, we will represent it with this pipe, but over here, what it might actually look like in the chip is a conductor in the silicon dioxide layer a conductor that has a wave traveling down that center conductor and then a shield around the side of that conductor. Our transmission line provides an uninhibited path for energy to flow from the input to the output but at the same time we can inject energy into that signal and amplify it. And so the way we amplify the signal is we detect the wave at, the, at periodic points along this transmission line. We might detect a null in the wave at this point along the transmission line. And we can feed back at very high speed using fast silicon transistors a signal that then amplifies the signal at the beginning of the transmission line. So for instance, we would detect this null in the, in the wave and then we'd increase the peak at the input of the transmission line and then allow that wave to continue traveling down this path. By amplifying the signal periodically at multiple stages, the signal as it travels down this transmission line basically has an increase in its amplitude across multiple stages. And so instead of having the traditional limitation for traveling wave circuits, distributing the gain across parallel stages, we can actually get a cascaded gain that's g to the n, or exponentially larger depending on the number of stages we have. You can see that at 100 gigahertz, if we need 10 picoseconds, we really need to control the wave delay through this transmission line down to about 2.5 picoseconds, and then the delay through the feedback to about 2.5 picoseconds. So we're really showing a technique that can be applied to the very fastest silicon technologies today and push the performance at millimeter wave frequencies.